All right, so it's been a while since we've done a walk through the Jeep. Last one I did was basically when we done the lift, the tires, the snorkel, bumper. So lots going on since then. So I'll do a quick walk around. We'll probably be too quick, but I'll do a walk around and show you some of the stuff I've updated. So let's go. Inside, have a look. We've got, we've done the handles on both sides from Rugged Ridge. These things uh, are sturdy as. They, they go in quite well. But we also got the 67 designs, uh, phone mount, the iPad mount, and then the GoPro mount. We've got all that up here, mounted on the vector bar. The iPad is mounted on the RAM mount. I can't even remember which one it's called. There'll be links below. And then the 67 design, like I said, that's the mobile, and then the GoPro. And I think that's it for here. There's new stereos coming. I have it. I just didn't have the right harness. So I think I have the right harness now, but it'll be a, basically a Kenwood Apple play. So that'll go in there. So that way we can put the sat nav or the GPS, like Apple Maps or whatever, on the display of the radio. And then the iPad will be used for Gaia or over here we use the uh, OS or Ordnance Survey Maps for all the different green landings and stuff like that. So that's what we going on there. Right. So in the back, we've got... The seat's always folded down because I never use the seat back here. So that's coming out. So I've ordered a Goose Gear 60 delete or 60% delete bracket. And basically that'll let me take this out, but still use a small one. So the bracket will hold the seat on one side as well as the seat belt to be mounted to that. So more to come on that. And then we're gonna ply line it um, kind of like the Goose Gear style, but we'll probably do something different or maybe do it on my own, I'm not sure yet. All right, so in the back, uh, you've seen the video from Buzz Special Vehicles. I'm gonna move around, make Josh chase me, but we done the tire carrier from AEV. It's mounted to the frame, so that was huge for me, obviously, because the big 35-inch tire with the, the AEV bore wheels on the tailgate was just a bit much. So now all that weight is on the AEV uh, tire carrier. And the good thing about the AEV tire carrier, you can also mount other AEV accessories on it, like the fuel caddy. So we got 10.2 gallons of diesel in my case, uh, mounted to the back of this. There's a video uh, of me uh, putting that on there and the troubles and tribulations that I've had to overcome to get it there, but we got it there. Other things that you can get for this tire carrier are the pool pal and uh, high lift jack mount that mounts here and you can put your high lift jack on the side as well as a pool pallet folds up You can put a shovel down the side of it and stuff like that. So lots of stuff AEV's thinking uh, All these different accessories you can get one thing I need to get is roto packs um, Brackets, so that's something I want to do they I've seen them where they mount around the tire I'm not sure who makes them but then you can put roto packs on the side and you might say why you need roto packs if you got 10 gallons of fuel it's because i want it for water so i want roto packs on the side for water so i can have coffee every minute of the day if i want and have water for it but yeah, yeah. sturdy definitely much better down here i'm waiting for the uh, anchors to come in or the insert clips from outback adventures uh they're on the way so hopefully they'll be here soon this will come off those will go on and then my outback adventures trail gator will be here so the trail gator opens up basically and it's a, a shelving or a table where you can have your cooker or whatever you want there and also has a slide out cutting board so you'll be able to like prepare food or put more stuff on here it's just more workspace so the other thing we got is the flashlight system basically puts a mag light on an arm i swapped it out this is a longer arm than it comes with but i use the arm for up something up front but it's on a suction cup so you can move that around um you can move it anywhere you want you can even put it up here on the glass if you want to cook or whatever put that on there shine it down on there or if you're working on something you can take it off pop it on the side of the jeep and then see what you're doing so it's quite handy i just leave it there because i know where it's at that way all right so one thing that is high on my list to do is get the roof rack and the rooftop tent so i'm getting the av roof rack from buzz special vehicles i'm going to pick that up this week and me and josh are going to try to get that installed this weekend or sometime soon to do that you got to take the top completely off mount the brackets on top of that on top of the padding and then put this back on and drill holes through the top. So, yay, uh, I gotta drill holes through this. But like uh, Trail Recon, I watched a video when he installed his Rhino Rack and he said something that made a lot of sense to me. Basically, if you mess up, it's fiberglass. Patch it, move on. So, it's giving me a little bit more confidence. Thanks, Brad, most appreciated. We also done the hinges. So, the hinges, blacked out hinges, um, still deciding if I'm gonna swap these out, the silver parts or not, or if I may get the silver ones uh, repowder coated and put back on. I don't know, it's still up in the air. But inside, 
All right, there's lots of wires and it's really annoying. But when the new stereo goes in, that's gonna take care of a lot of the wires. So there'll be a USB that comes out and the phone can plug directly into that and I can do all that stuff with it. But the iPad will still need a uh, power cable, so that's easy to do. And uh, this thing right here drives me absolutely mad when I'm driving. So I gotta find a way to tighten this up. I have a message RAM mount, so I'm waiting to hear back from him if this is normal or if there's a way I can fix it because until I crank the radio, that's all I hear. So most of the time I don't hear it, but I know it's here. Um, GPS receiver, the dual GPS. I know I've done a separate video in the old CRV about this thing. I love that. It's awesome. It sends GPS straight to anything Bluetooth, but in my case, the iPad. And it just, you got constant GPS signal on there. You don't have to worry about 4G or having a SIM card in the iPad. It just goes straight there if you have the maps downloaded on the iPad. And with the OS maps and the Gaia maps, you can download your area and you don't have to worry about it at all. And then the GPS receiver keeps you on track and on trail. So awesome love that dual gps that's the 160 so they also have a 150 but either one same thing amazing all right so the other thing we've done is a jks disconnect so basically you take these out on both sides and it let your sway bar float so we do that you get more flex out of it kind of like when we done the uh the 4x4 expo i popped them out and went up on the ramp probably didn't need it for that a couple feet of flex i did or whatever but you had to try them out. So a huge thanks to Bo Elliott for helping me do those. We've done those in his garage. Uh, awesome. All right, so there you go. A quick walk around with some of the updates. Next thing is going to be the AEV roof rack. Uh, once that's installed, I've got to find a rooftop tent. I've uh, got a couple that I'm looking at. They're both at Tough Trek down south, so I plan on making a trip down there and uh, just having to look at them in person and then making my decision. Other things on the list in the not so distant future, hopefully, is uh, I want to do a double battery or dual battery, I guess you would call it. Then that way I can put start putting all the accessories on for like the fridge and the exterior lighting and all that stuff. So the winch and the winch plate still need to get that. That's going to be down the road a little bit farther. Gears. This thing needs re-geared. The more I drive it, the more I really want to re-gear it. It's got 321s with 35 inch tires. It's just not ideal so it goes great on the highway once you're up to speed but uh just taking off and stuff like that is not what i want hopefully i'll do 410 soon and then i can get it up to the power that i want it's nice having diesel and the six speed because that helps kind of compensate a little bit for the high gearing but just not enough uh so hopefully 410s soon there's just a few things that i'm looking at doing soon ish there's loads of other stuff that i'm thinking about as well it's just trying to rack and stack them and put a priority on them, which one needs to happen first like obviously i want a roof tent forever but i gotta get a roof rack first all right so make sure you click like and subscribe click that notification bell if you want to be notified when the next video comes out stay tuned there's loads more coming you can also check us out on facebook and instagram and uh i think that's about it so i appreciate y'all stopping by and we'll see you out there